project was in part inspired by My School is Alive. Written and illustrated by David W. Barnes. Told through the voice of a grade 2 student, the story tells of children exploring their schoolyard to find as many different kinds of living things as they could, and then planting and nurturing a nature garden of their own. The children learned that human and industrial development was responsible for many plants and animals dying or leaving an area. Their goal was to bring back nature to their school so they could learn more about the natural world and support plant and animal growth in the process. So how did you make use of our teaching garden, Michelle? You know, this was the first time in my two years at the school that I actually made great use of our teaching gardens. Um, with our first inquiry on how, do, how does nature help us, so how do we help nature, the teaching gardens were, were our focal point. That's where we learned about the, the app for, you know, we're bringing technology into our gardens. That was, that was really great. Um, and then we kept visiting the gardens to get more information about the plants that were growing. So the, in, the, in the time that I've been at the school, I found this was the most fruitful way of using our teaching gardens. The initial plan for the school gardens involved a government grant, along with help from a local garden centre and the school. The goal for the school gardens was to create an awareness of the interrelationship between the students, people, and the indigenous plants of Brampton, nature. This matches the goals and expectations of the science and technology and social studies curricula for grade 1. Yeah, uh, I took my class to our teaching garden at the time when the plants were, you know, just started growing. Mm -hmm. So they were finding things and uh, some of them found some nests, broken pieces of nests, broken glasses. And uh, I asked them to, to look at things and what are the things you see in nature. You name it, write a list and uh, let's discuss. So we had a discussion in the class and they were telling about uh, how the plants were growing and how some of the things that we already see, they are not part of uh, nature, but we are dumping those things and how it affects the growth of the plants. Mm -hmm. For example, glass pieces, mm -hmm. plastic pieces. In, in our gardens? Yes, in our gardens. So they, they took so they, ownership? Yes, they were Isn't able to fantastic? tell how uh, careful we should be in, yeah. in, in, in uh, taking care of yeah. our nature. Yeah, that's great. Returning to the spirit of my school is alive. Students further investigated how people use natural and built features of their environment. They also provided some suggestions about how we give back to nature, and reported their findings. This inquiry helps students learn about some of the interrelationships between people and natural and built features in their community, while giving them a pathway for responsible, active, citizenship. Parkway Learning Gardens are truly a way for students across the school to learn to be stewards of the earth, to take on responsibilities as citizens and to practice the habits of mind of productive inquiry across subjects. You know, I know, I know yes. our focus was about community, yeah. but we were able to link it to yeah, that, that, that measurement, that to mm -hmm. plant growth, to animals in their habitats. And, we and to mapping. It. And now we're going into mapping next week. Yeah, yeah. so I, I, I really like how it's so cross-curricular. Yeah. I also liked that I, we, could, we could do this in our language block. Our school is structured with a language block, but because they're reading, they're writing, they're doing all these things. It, it didn't matter what time of day we were doing it, it connected. Yes, so you mean yeah, other than this inquiry, you want to uh, use this inquiry project in other subjects also? Definitely, I'm going to start next September with uh, rules. <laughs> you know, why do we have rules? That's a great inquiry for next year. Let's start September with right away with an inquiry, for sure. I'll be using it again.